everybody, Kat from Creative Crafts and today's DIY is all about recycling as you can see all the bottles that I have here. We're going to make three awesome different kinds of recycled bottle items for our Christmas decorations. Want to see how we do that? Watch further. The things you're going to need for this project are of course three different types of bottles recyclable ones. You don't have to go to the shops and buy them. I'm sure you'll end up finding bottles somewhere in your home that you can recycle. You're going to need paint, of course. Some kind of Christmas decorations. It doesn't matter what you want to use. You can use anything you want. Something to protect the surface where you're going to paint. Paint brushes. And that's it. Well, if I'm going to be using the paint brushes. I'm going to be using a sponge. Because here, as you can see, the lines on it from the paintbrush, I don't like it. Or you can use spray paint if you prefer. I don't have spray paint. I mean, I do have white, but I want to have them all the same. So I'm going to take the sponge and I'm going to do the dipping effect, which you're just going to dip the paint onto the bottle. So now that you know exactly what you're going to need for this project, let's get started by painting the bottles. So now I'm going to be using, making the white. Like I said, I painted it with a brush and I don't like the lines. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my white paint. I didn't think it was going to be close up. <clears throat> so you're going to take your paint. If you want to use gloves, you can. I don't mind the mess. Just pour a little bit there. Make sure you put your paint, your paint tube or whatever in the direction where it comes out because it'll be easier to pu push it all out. Now I'm going to take my brush, no, well, my sponge, and I'm going to start with the bottom, of course. And you don't want to do this because you're going to have the lines like before, and I don't want to have the lines. I'd rather have this crackle effect on the bottle. So I'm just going to do it like this. I'm going to go all the way around and then go up to the next level. And this I'm going to do to all the bottles. I'm going to make one white and I'm going to make one red and one green. So now that I've done all three now, all three of them, I'm not done. I will go through them. Well, this one doesn't need another coat. You can see that. I'm going to put another coat on these two once they're dried. And when that's done, we'll go to the decoration part, which will be the fun, fun part. So the first step, well, not the first step, but the first thing for the bottles, the recycled bottled um, deco, is you first paint the bottle the color you want and then you need ribbon some decorations and stuff i got this ribbon from teddy last year that's here in germany and i'm just gonna glue this right here in the middle And I'm going to take, make sure it's even. And then I'm going to stick some of this on. This is a burlap decoration. So 
So I'm just going to use this. Like I said, make sure it's even. And hold it there just for a bit. Takes a little bit to cool. As you can see, I glued that here. I try to make it even so it doesn't look funny. So now that I've done that, just make sure that you fix it so that it's even. And now the next step is what you want to do is I took some letters, wooden letters, and I painted them gold, like a copper old antique color gold. And I'm going to take some of this ribbon. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some glue and I'm going to stick my first word, of course, on it. Be careful so you don't burn your fingers, as you can see what I did here. This is what I'm going to do. Let's put this over here. This is what I'm doing here. So, and then I want to put joy on there. So what I'm going to do is now make sure that you have, don't, your fingers don't get stuck to everything. I'm going to stick some glue on this end. And stick it on there. Then turn the Y over. And you want to do the same thing. Try to make it, you know, even to whereabouts you want it. And I'm going to stick this in the middle. And there you go. I'm going to let it cool. You don't need much hot glue for this, so let this cool down. So now I'm going to make a burlap ribbon, and my ribbon, it has this on it, but I didn't want to have the white on it, I just wanted to have it like this, so I just turned it inside out. How you make a ribbon is pretty simple. You take um, a piece of ribbon, you fold it so, and then you fold it so like this, like I did here, and then I smudged it in the middle, took a piece of rope, jute rope, and I bunched it up here. Folded two pieces up together and did this, and I have my little bow here. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to leave this here because I need that to tie it on the bottle. I'm going to take my, put a good amount of glue on it, the end part, which I cut it like a fishtail on the end, and I'm going to put it backwards because I do not want um, my bow with the lace on it showing. So you just turn it around like this and make it a zigzag, you know, crisscross way. And just wait until that's cooled, just like the other here. This is pretty cooled now. And now I have my letters Joy. Turn you around. And then I can hang it down from the bottle instead of gluing it onto the bottle. So now I'm going to cut off this extra. And I'm not sure if I want to, I think I'm going to glue it onto the ribbon. Because I want to stick the ribbon up here. Yeah, that's a good idea. So I'm going to take the joy and I'm going to stick it. Put some glue here, between here, and stick this here. You want the J to be showing, so you don't want it to hang down too, don't put it too high up. Take some glue, and push it down. You wait till that cools. Then I have some green and some red to stick on it to make it have a little bit of if you don't, everything doesn't stick to you first. And then this is the first bottle. 
with the green. This is what I did. You can use any kind of burlap. I wanted to make it like a farmhouse type but with a little bit of Christmas steel to it and I decided to do the recycling with the bottles and do this. This is the farmhouse edition bottles and then I have the ones you paint on yourself. Paint, paint some decorations on it and then the paper mache, not the paper mache, the napkin um, technique. So First is first, this is what I did here. Ah, it's still hot. Don't want to stick this ribbon on here until you know that it's cooled because this will stick to the bottle and you don't want to have that because when you pull up then the paint will come off. So. While we're waiting for that to cool, I just wanted to show you a bottle that my daughter-in-law did. And she did this one here with the Christmas, two different colors. This is what she did. It's pretty much plain, but it looks really nice. Has a little scarf on the top, little deers here, and then a little thing, little uh, bouquet on top. And the other ones you're going to have to wait to see because that is on the next, that's the next step. So now let's do this. I'm sure it's done now. So now I'm going to take this and I'm going to tie this on top here. So So to make sure that it stays in place, I would suggest just to put a tad glue here so that the this piece don't be stick won't do be. I can't even speak English today. Won't be sticking upwards and be sticking downwards. So there we go. And then you stick that like this. As you can see, a little bit of that spider the, the webs from the glue so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick some of these things up here go like this stick some glue and make sure you get it on the inside part because you do not want to have it on the outside and I have some of these um, things that you just saw I cut them off because I like the little snow that you've seen on it and I had most of these things already here at home I just wanted to make sure that um, I'm not spending any extra money that I can because right now so many people um, are not making the money that they need to because of the layoffs so I decided that I wanted to do something for you guys to show what you can do with stuff that you already have at home and you can still make your home look nice for Christmas. Just use all the extra stuff that you have in your basement from Christmas. Take bouquets apart, uh, garland like I hear, oops, <laughs> throwing stuff around. Take your garland and just, you know, let it, just let it, let it go, you know. Um, stick things together. And I'm, like I said, I wanted to make some green, make it look nice. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to stick, I think I'm going to take, cut this total end off because I want to stick it in the middle and I can't if it has a big thing sticking out of it. And I'm going to burn my fingers and there we go. I'll stick that here. There we go. And this is what I did here. It moves around. If you want, you can take this and glue it, but I did this extra so that it will look good. And for the back here, like I said, what you need to do is just stick some more glue on it. Use your glue gun, stick it down. You don't need to worry about anything burning. And there you go. It's perfect, pretty much. So, and there we go. That looks good. 
that is the very first bottle. What you could do, like my daughter-in-law did, you can stick some more of these in here and then you can stick some other flowers or I have some more of this here, but that wouldn't look good because I already have some here. But you can stick flowers in there. You don't have to have anything in it. You can take a decoration here like I have here and stick that head in there and that looks perfect, I think. So, please comment on the box below underneath. Let me know what you think and what other ideas you have for recycling bottles for Christmas. And, and now we'll go to the next one, which is the white bottle. And that's another bottle that's done. So now here is the white one. I'm stepping on all over everything here. And I'm just going to take what you see here is, I cut this from a napkin. And I decided I'm going to stick some glue on here. And I'm going to... Um, stick that on there. So let me get some a little paintbrush just enough so that I can stick that on there. So that's I'm sticking some over here as you can see some of the glue. And I'm just going to stick that here. Like the shape of the tree. I need some more. I need some more. If you get extra glue all the way on the sides, that's fine. It's going to just make it shiny. So now what I do is I'm sticking that on there and I'm going to try my best not to make any wrinkles because this is a napkin. So you're just going to let it stick on there. And I'm going to stick some on top so that I know that it sticks. That it's gone through from underneath to the top because there's a couple of layers on here and I don't want it to be sticking up. There we go. Can do that now. I stuck that here. And what I want to do is you're gonna wait for that to dry. So while I'm waiting for it to dry, I'm gonna take some of this little extra ribbon and I'm going to wrap this around the top going upwards. You know what I should do? I'm going to glue it first. Glue it here so I know that it stays. And then I'm going to go around. And I'm hoping that it goes in the back again. Yep. And this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to have this here. Add some extra glue there so that sticks. I don't want nothing sticking up. I will cut this stuff off. So that goes with that. So that's better. And there we go. We cut put this here. So now what I want to do is, like I said, we have to wait until this completely dries. So I'm going to stick this snowflake on top. This is a snowflake that I used for you can hang you can hang it up. It has strings with it. 
but this is like extra stuff you can get in the basement you can make this also with um window color you can make yourself these decorations with that i have a tiny little snowflake that came with these ropes which i took off i'm going to glue this right here but we still have to wait until this dries here and that most likely will take some time so now that's the next bottle and then what I can suggest that you can do I have a nice little white flower set which you can put inside here and then of course you spread all this out they have like wires on it and we have that next one this is too big I think but if you want you can um, just let it all stick upwards like this I think that looks better like this and if you want to add some green you can add some green to it I don't think it'll do anything you can use anything you want for this project. You know, you can stick some green. Yeah, actually the green will look good. Stick a couple of green leaves inside there. Come on, get in there. Thank you. So, and stick that in and then make, put some more. I just finished cutting some pieces off. Now I can't find the end. Can you believe that? I think I'm losing it. But I got another piece. So I'm just going to cut a bigger piece off. And then I'm going to stick it on this side. Here we go. And if you want, you can stick one up in the middle. Hope you can see that. I made it as wide as I can. I think maybe I can stick some glue here. I think I can stick my like I wanted to and like I wanted to earlier uh, later what I'm going to do is um, I think I'm going to leave it just like this I don't want to add too much because if you do add way too much to your things then it's not going to look good at all so that is the white Christmas theme you could say I made a farmhouse white Christmas traditional Christmas and now I'm probably going to draw around this one, which will be the next step. Let's go to the second um, wave, which is you take a little brush or you take um, markers, you know, permanent markers or acrylic markers, and you can draw on your thing here. So this is what I'm going to do next. So watch further. So everybody, for the second part of doing the recycled bottled um, DIY is the drawing. As you can see here, right now we have the deer here and we have the snowman. And then also if you go onto the other side, there's a Christmas tree. Just add some cute little decorations on top. Stick one of those little bottle light things inside. And look how great that looks. So I'll give you a little tip. When you're painting onto glass like this and you don't want it to, like if you see, notice this one here. 
you can see that you can see through this white pot. If you don't want that, you're going to have to paint over it at least twice and make it thick like you see with this one here so you can't see the lights through these areas. But if you don't mind having it to look like this, which I think it looks great like that anyway, put just one little coat of paint and it's fine. You can use either... I got these acrylic painter markers, which is perfect for for this kind of stuff. Or you can just use normal paint and a very fine brush, which um, my daughter-in-law did here. She did all this work. That's none of my work. Now what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be making... My chair is going to make a lot of noise right now. So let's shut this off. So let's, let's, this is the second part of the video that I'm talking about. How to recycle your glass bottles. And what you can do is, you can either use, like I said, with a marker, but my markers, they're not been, haven't been not doing too well here. So, we'll see. Just let's go on here and see if this... Yeah, I have to wait a little bit, because usually when you're not using them for a while... Okay, it's going through now. So what I suggest you to do if you want, you can take a pencil and go around it or you can take, um, just go freehand. And usually I just do it freehand. I'm just hoping that it looks good. So what I'm going to do now is going to take this, paint this red. I have this color red, but if you want, you can use either spray paint or normal paint, like I said before. And now what I'm going to do is right about here. I'm just going to make a line around so that I know it's pretty straight. And I'm going to go around the whole bottle. should use a Sharpie instead. Probably work better. You can use ribbon, black ribbon if you want instead. But if you don't have money to go out and spend Here's the other line. So I made one line now, and now I'm going to go down a little further. About here. I don't want to make it too... I'm going to go slowly So now I just finished doing that. Now I'm going to color, fill, fill this in all with um, black. You can, like I said, you can either use a paint with a paintbrush or you can use this. I'm going to see if I can get more paint out of this. I think we used it all up. I'm sure that's what happened. See what we can do here. So, what I want to do now is 
I don't like it like that with the pen because of the texture of the paint. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my black paint and I'm going to stand this up, get a small paintbrush, something small like this, get my paint. And you don't want to paint it too thick, so I'm just going to go as thin as possible because black can go a long way. And then what you're going to do is you're going to try to make sure you don't go over the lines. And go one direction. Don't go like this or like this because that's not good for um, when it dries, you'll, you'll see that and it won't look good. Another technique of drawing or painting is I used my markers and I did, you know, dotting. Christmas tree with a dot and then I made a swirly. I'm not done. I'm going to add some gold to it. Especially to the snowflakes. So I'm just going to dot some areas with the snowflake. And then I'm going to add some gold to this Christmas tree, gold snowflake. for here to let this dry yeah I think that's good so now I can put the silver pen and make the belt and make sure you don't lay it down go. I love how the paint is a little bit shiny. So now we're done with that part. Now we're going to wait for the paint to dry on top of here so I can start gluing this um, fake snow on it. So everybody I'm done now with this one with the Santa Claus belt. Oh, and I think it looks awesome. That is the one of the things that you could do. That's the second version of recycling DIY Christmas and now comes the third part so check that one out so everybody the third one is is pretty simple if you have any uh, window color paint this was a huge fad maybe about I think 10 years ago maybe more and I still had some stuff left over not from that long ago but I did buy some when I do my paintings and I still had some left over, so what I did is I made some stuff, some of these little Christmas decorations on it, and I stuck it on the bottle. You can do anything. I could, uh, you can also make lines, which I'm going to do. I'm going to put some lines on here with the window color. So that's the next step. Like I said, it's very easy to do this one. Let me sit down and I'll show you. What you can do is, let me get this stuff out of here. Most window color packages come with, you know, all kinds of cute little decorations here. And that's where I got the wreath from is this one here. And then the snowflake is from here. And if you don't have that, what you can do is always print stuff out. If you don't have a printer and you, you do have a computer, what you could do is you take a clear piece of paper, put it on the, the screen and take a pencil or a pen and 
draw over the picture that you want to copy. That's how I usually do it. My, I don't have a printer, so this is how I do it right now. And um, I think that would be a great mm. idea. Or I can, like I said, I can use my pens, make some designs here. But this is this is the third one. Using window color paint um, motives and stick it on there. Um, I did this here. And I didn't want to put too much on it, and that's that's um, one of the things. But I have these little, I got these a long time ago, and this is a glitter one. And I can take my plastic that I have, came with it, came with these little plastic pieces. And what I could do is, if I want to have a line across... If you don't have window color at your home, I'm not going to tell you to go out and buy any. I'm just recycling what I have here. So, and what you could do is you just take your pen and, and you can make your design the way you want. You know, like um, I can do like little twirlies. Make them a little bit bigger. You can do that. You can make snowflakes. You can make um, squiggly lines to stick on it. I don't suggest that you go to the bottle and put on it because it will droop. You don't want to do that. You have to put it on a plastic thing that's actually where you can peel it off. And let's get another color. Um, how about green? No, green mold. You can't see through that. Oh, and I'll use red. Whatever red is left there. And what you could do also is... Um, can do anything. You can make a Santa Claus hat. Make sure you fill it in. Then let me see if I can get the what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to use the glitter one. And then once these dry, they will become very thin. And then you can just sl sl slightly peel them off. If you've done this before, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't done window color, this is... It's, it's basically, I think it's like Elma's glue mixed with colors. I'm not sure exactly what it is. I have to check it out and see. Maybe I'll make something like this for myself and see if I can do it that way. But right now, that would be a different video. But right now, this used to be a big fad a long time ago. So, And I decided, you know, I'm going to use whatever I have here and use it up and see what I can do. And I didn't want to put too much on here. I might put the cap here because once it shrinks, once it um, hardens, I guess you say, I can stick probably stick it here. But this is this is what I'm talking about. This is what you can do with this. And that is the third one. It's very simple, very easy. You can use the window color and I think it looks great. And it sticks on there. You don't have to put any glue, nothing. You just peel it off and stick it on the glass and it stays there. You don't have to worry about it painting or making a mess. This is just one simple step. And then once that's all dried, like I said, take it off the paper, plastic, and stick it onto the bottle and you have your decorations. And that is the video for today. So everybody, this is just a quick video to show you what I did with the window color. I'm putting more on that bottle before the at very end of this video. So I'm going to show you all the bottles that I've made. But first what you do, like I said, I took this paper and I'm doing a poinsettia and I took the black first. You don't always have to use the black. I mean, 
they say you should, but because mine's so old, everything is thick anyway. So now I'm going to put the red. I used two different color reds, and now I'm going to fill this all up. And I'm going to make another one. I'll probably make a candy cane. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to make out of it, but this is what you do. So now when I'm done with this, you just take the color and you pour it in the areas where you just drew and fill it up like I said and wait till it dries it takes at least overnight sometimes but I will add some more to this end of this video and you'll see exactly how much fun that is three awesome ways of doing your um, recycling your bottles I will also do these ones now and on the end of this video I will post a picture of all the all the bottles together and you can see the ideas that I've done. I hope you liked my video. Please give it a thumbs up. Also comment on the section below if you didn't understand anything I said. Sometimes I skip and jump to certain areas without describing what's going on. And subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!